Okay, let's have a look at question four. We need to write a bubble sort algorithm using pseudocode to sort an array of integers into ascending order. So most students were able to write a bubble sort, but what they didn't do was sort an array of integers into ascending order. So here, the question wants us to assume that we already have an array. If you declared your own, you wouldn't gain any marks, but you wouldn't lose any either. So first, I'm going to start by declaring my procedure. So I write start procedure sort my array. Now I'm going to have three variables in total. N is integer. That is going to store the length of my array. Temp is integer. That is going to store my temporary variable, which you'll see is used within the swap later on. And then we've got swapped is Boolean. We either swap or we don't. You need to remember here that a bubble sort will only end if we have made no swaps. If at any point we make a swap, we need to loop again and continue our bubble sort. So in order to initialize n as the length of my array, I write set n equals length bracket my array close bracket. And it can be assumed here that whatever length my array is, is passed into the variable n. Then I need some iteration. I'm going to use a repeat until loop and I'm going to repeat until swapped equals false. So I'll open my repeat and then inside that I need to initialize the swapped variable. So I'm going to write set swapped equals false. So when we enter the loop, we start off with the swaps equaling false. If that changes to true, we need to continue looping again. So my repeat holds my outer loop, but my inner loop is going to be a for loop. And the reason why I'm using a for loop is because I'm going to loop exactly the number of times of the length of my array. Now, because I start i as 0, I'm going to loop to n minus 1. And that's because the first item will already be sorted. So basically, for each element in my array, if my array at the position of i is less than or equal to my array at i plus 1, then I'm going to assign temp the value of my array plus 1. And then my array plus 1 is going to equal my array at position i. So at this point in my array, I will have two of the exact same numbers in the array at the same time. Temp is now holding the value that's just been overwritten by my array at position i. So the next step now is to put temp back in its rightful position. So my array at the position of i is assigned temp. And because we've done a swap here, we need to set the variable swapped to equal true. And that is our swapping process of the bubble sort. And don't forget to close the if statement. Don't forget to close the for. And don't forget to set the base case condition of the repeat loop until swapped equals false. And then end the procedure. And that's our bubble sort. So where do we get our marks for this question? The first mark comes from initializing n and setting that to the length of the array. The second mark comes from the terminating condition of the outer loop. The third mark comes from initializing the swapped variable and the end condition of the for loop gets you another mark. The if statement comparing both concurrent values in the array gets you another mark. The sixth mark comes from initializing the temp variable to equal my array at position i plus 1. You also get another mark for setting the swapped value to true when a swap has actually occurred. And you also get a mark for carrying out the correct swaps in the correct order. And finally, the ninth mark comes from the for loop or the inner loop of the bubble sort. And that is the end of the question, worth a total of nine marks.